Hello everybody and welcome to or back to my channel House of C. <laughs> my name is Cassidy. This is Mr. Sterling. <laughs> and today we have a very exciting and big unboxing. Don't we? What did mommy get? What's she need to watch? <laughs> So guys, this, I usually film on, okay, can we, okay. <laughs> All right, my video is being sabotaged. Okay, what? Guys, can I film? Can mommy film? This is a very, very big and very important video. Sterling, <laughs> guys, he's just staring at himself. <laughs> Sterling, <laughs> who's your handsome boy? Go get sissy. Sterling, you've got to move, baby. Come on. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it wouldn't be a House of Z video if the dogs were not interrupting. So we stay consistent over here. Anyways, I have a massive, very exciting unboxing. I can't believe the day has come. But, um, yeah, basically, I... I usually do all my filming on Saturdays and Sundays. I film, I edit, and then I get everything up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So make sure that you hit the um, little bell that will remind you when my videos go up so you don't miss one because you definitely don't want to miss this one. Anyways, it is Monday. So that just tells you how big and how important this unboxing is ah <sighs> guys anyways don't forget to like subscribe comment down below and also follow me on my instagram at cass underscore carmody would love to have you join me over there you get to see more of my day-to-day -day, my personality what i'm doing all the fun stuff i'm doing around denver so if you are coming to town make sure to follow me on my instagram you can find all sorts of fun stuff, eateries, events, and whatnot. So that is my spiel on why you should follow me on Instagram. But guys, let's get into it. So, oh, I have a massive box here and it is from Amore Tokyo. If you are a big handbag person like myself, you probably already know about Amore. If you don't, Amore Tokyo is a vintage luxury shop in Japan, hence Tokyo. And they've got a few locations in Japan from my understanding. They have one store that is strictly dedicated to Chanel, I think, or at least they have a wing of a store that is just Chanel. They have, I mean, just the most incredible selection of designer handbags and clothing and jewelry. I have been dying to go to Japan just so I can go to Amore, but you don't have to go to Japan to shop at Amore. They do have an online website and I got what's in this box. They had a 20% off in-store on a, <laughs> online going on i literally had to set my alarm for 4 30 in the morning denver time because at 8 p.m japan time on april 1st yeah it was april 1st it was a week ago guys a week ago i bought this anyways set my alarm i already like when i saw that they had this um sale that was going to be online on april 1st like a week to two weeks before, I was going through looking at every single little thing. I was putting it in my favorites. I was creating my account. Ladies and gentlemen, I know how to get what I want when it comes to online shopping, especially like big sales or exciting stuff like that, because I'm already doing all the things before the sales even started. Like I said, got the account with my information, with my favorites. I had a long list of things that I liked just in case I couldn't get this, but this was my number one thing. I can't believe I got it. Anyways, let's start unboxing. Wait, 
before we start unboxing, comment down below what brand you think it is. And then we'll go on to the next guessing part of this game. Guys, look how cute this packaging is. They have their own paper that says more all over it. And then they also give you their contact information. They have a WhatsApp, I believe. And yeah, they've got three locations. Yeah. So they have Amor A Aoyama, Amor Omotesando and Wardrobe, and Amor Gentleman. So they've got all their information on this card that they put in here for me, which is great. I love that. And then they also give you a thank you for shopping at Amor Vintage. They give you the return policy and conditions. Um but yeah, all this lovely info as well. All right, guys, time for the brand reveal. Huh? Not the grand reveal, the brand reveal. It's an orange box. It's our mess. <laughs> All right, guys, now, what do you think is in the orange box? What do you think I've gotten here? Comment down below, pause the video, comment down below, do all the things, but I want you to try and take a guess. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, I gotta like tip this over and get it out. It fits like perfectly in this box. Ooh. Ooh. All right. <sighs> Let's get into it. And again, more really cute tissue paper and packaging in here. All right, guys. <laughs> We've got something in here. Are you ready? It is my very first quota bag. It is a Birkin 35 in this chocolate Ardenese, Ardenese leather, Ardenese. I'm gonna have to see how you say it and clip it in here. Um, and it has yellow gold hardware. I mean, look at this rich, I mean, just yummy chocolatey brown. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, look at the condition. When they say shop vintage in Japan, I mean, the condition, oh, it's impeccable, incredible. I mean, guys, Look at this. Look at this. We've got the feet on the bottom. I mean, guys, it looks brand spanking new. All right. So anyways, like I was saying, I got this from Amore Tokyo on their 20% off sale. And then it was like 10% off taxes or something like that. But I think that was only if you were in the store because I did have to pay customs for this obviously because it's a massive purchase. But I have been on the Hermes journey for not that long. Like seriously, like 
dedicated to the process that long, if at all. Um, I never thought that I would end up getting my first Birkin on the secondhand market just because of how crazy marked up the pricing is. Um, but I will say if you're going to get a Birkin, I would go for the 35 when it comes to pricing just because it is still less than the 30 and the 25. But the thing is, guys, I think that we're not going to be able to find these bags for that great of a price very soon because the 35 in the big bag trend is coming back and it's coming back strong. So I would start looking now for 35s at a great price. I know eBay has some. It can be a little scary, sketchy-ish shopping over on eBay. I fully trust Amore because Kim Kardashian, J-Lo, Kelly Rowland, all the celebrities shop there and can sign there. So, like, obviously it's going to be authentic. But let's open her up. Guys, even just oh, wait till we get inside of this gorgeous bag. All right, we've got more stuffing, which I'm gonna restuff it. Just keep the shape until I get a insert. Guys, I mean, did anyone actually use this bag? It's nuts. Like, look at the inside. It literally, oh, and it smells like just pure leather. And I will say, I was a little afraid the 35 was going to be massive, but guys, I'm 5'8", and I feel like this is the perfect size bag for me. I'm going to take some outtake footage, and I'm going to get it all in here so you can see me wearing it. But anyways, giving you all the down low on this gorgeous bag, it was on a more Tokyo for... E four hundred dollars, I want to say. I think it was eighty four. I mean, you gotta do the math, guys. The twenty percent and all that jazz. But um, with the twenty percent off, I ended up getting it for sixty seven hundred dollars. Like that is nuts. Okay, let's be real. I know that is so much money. That's a ton of money, especially for in today's economy. I could not pass that up though because. I have never seen a Birkin in this shape, in this condition, for less than 10 grand. The fact that I was able to get this for $6,700, it's not repainted. I mean, it is just, oh, I just can't, like, I can't stop smiling. I can't stop thinking about it. I just want to, like, hold this bag all day. It's just gorgeous. Oh. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, I got this bag for a steal. If you are a Birkin person, $6,700 for a 35. I think retail, the 35 has to be close to like $14,000, I want to say. I will look it up and I will post it here just so you can see. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe I have a Birkin. I just... It doesn't feel real. I just can't believe that I had this chance. I just, I, I, my mind is blown. And I have worked really hard and, you know, I'm going to be honest. I feel like I deserve this. I really feel like I deserve this after all the hard work that I've been putting in this last year. Uh, I just, it feels so good. So good. But let me get that outtake footage for you guys. And... So I feel like this gives you guys a good idea of just the size of the bag. Like I said, I am 5'8", and I feel like this bag is just a great size for me, and I could put it in the crook of my arm, or of course I can hold her like a top handle. She won't fit on my shoulder, of course, but 
overall, she's a great bag. I mean, she's got some weight to her, but nothing crazy. I feel like a lot of people complain about, I feel like a lot of people complain about how heavy the bag gets, especially when you start stuffing it. But I just feel like she's the perfect bag for me. That is her. But what should we name her? Okay, I got her the day after Easter. Do we call her Bunny for the chocolate bunny? <laughs> My brown bunny? Okay, that's a really disgusting movie, so maybe not brown bunny. I don't know, guys. What do you think? What should we name her? Comment down below on what we should name my beautiful Birkin. And I definitely need to get some Twillies, so I'll probably end up doing that this weekend. I'll stop by the Hermes store, see my essay, um, and let her know that I got myself a gorgeous Birkin. I'm sure the essays are not thrilled that I bought this secondhand, but who cares? I mean, oh, gorgeous baby, gorgeous Gorgeous, 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 guys. You have to shop at Amore. I can't say it enough. Shop at Amore if you want great vintage pieces. I mean, the Chanel pieces they had, they had Chanel flat bags going for $2,800. They were vintage, which I'm all about vintage when it comes to Chanel because it is the best quality 24 karat gold plated hardware. It's a way better quality bag than what you are going to find in stores today. I've seen it across the board. Everyone is saying that Chanel quality has gone downhill while the price has gone up. So the math isn't mathing there. I totally say go to a more or find a Tokyo reseller or Tokyo, a Jap Japanese Japan reseller. You will not be disappointed. The quality impeccable, the pricing affordable. So that is my spiel for you all. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys on the next one. I'll leave a video for you right here and make sure to subscribe up here because I'm hoping to have some more exciting videos to come this year. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.